Hi, it's Tamika Anumi1109, and today I'm cooking a dish called calabacita for my family. So I went to um, the farmer's market yesterday and found lots of squash in season. So I just picked up a variety. Um, I had no real reasoning behind what I selected. I just picked uh, up some squash. So in the end, there's three and a half pounds of squash there. So I had to figure out, okay, what am I going to cook? First thing popped in my head was calabacita. Now, calabacita is um, uh, the Spanish word for squash. Why we simply call this dish calabacita, knowing that there's other things in it, I don't know. But if you ask my grandmother, she would say she's cooking calabacita. Um, I am going to use two pounds of pork tenderloin. Uh, we probably would have used like a pork shoulder growing up, but I wanted to get a little leaner cut. I am going to put two jalapeno peppers in. This um, bell pepper is rather large, so I'm only using half of it. I will also use an onion, three cloves of garlic that I don't have on my board, uh, and a pack of corn. For the spices, I'm using a teaspoon and a half of ground cumin. If I had the seeds, I probably would only use a teaspoon. I also have a teaspoon and maybe a teaspoon and a fourth. <laughs> a teaspoon of oregano and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes and two teaspoons of salt. Now, this is uh, the basis of this meal. And my family has a, a, a cookbook. It is really, it was sort of um, my grandmother's uncle, aunts, and I think my great grandmother had some um, recipes in there as well. So uh, I did go and I pulled out a copy of the cookbook to make sure that I was right on with what I was putting in here, and I am. <laughs> Uh, like I said, we grew up eating this and cooking this, so I could just cook this right off the top of my head, so it doesn't take much. But I'll show you a copy of what that recipe looks like, and um, I'll get going. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, if you don't want to use pork, you can use chicken, you can use beef, you can do without. I know some people make calabacita, they just um, use the veggies and the corn, it's sort of like a Mexican succotash, um, and some people even will take all the veggies and then put it in the oven um, top it with some cheese and make sort of like a casserole so again you know whenever I'm sharing recipes just sort of think about the things that you like and make it be your own so I hope you guys give this a try all right bye your pork has been um, cooking in a half a cup of chicken broth and the onions and the garlic for about 10 minutes. Um, I have it on 7, so I have an electric range, so I have it on 7. Then you're just going to add um, 2 diced, and this is sort of a rough diced, it's not, you know, thinly sliced, um, jalapeno peppers that have been de-veined and de-seeded. Excuse the um, steam. And then you're going to go ahead and continue cooking this for 10 more minutes. 